Coming up on Family and Friends, an interview with owner and founder of Creatures Great and Small, the real-life Dr. Doolittle, John Roloff. John is sponsored by Boyd Madsen and National Geographic to teach kids about the importance of taking care of God's creatures and their environment. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss this exciting interview. Coming to you from Dallas, Texas, the North Church brings you powerful and practical answers to life. Pastor Lawrence and Coral Kennedy. And now, Family and Friends with Lawrence and Coral. Good morning, everybody. I really believe that God is going to bless you today. God is going to really reach out and help you have the joy. I really believe, Coral, the joy of the Lord right here from family That's and right. friends is going to reach out and touch your life, and you're going to be different. I believe a lot of people are going to laugh today. I, well, I really believe you are, especially when you see a little bit later in the broadcast true. our true, segment folks. with John yes. Roloff and Creatures Great and Small, and trust me, you've got to stay tuned. You know, the joy of the Lord is our strength, and so many times we take everything so serious in life, and it's important to stop and smell the roses and and also to experience all of the creatures that God has created for us. This is one of my favorite um, times on Family and Friends, showing the animals that God's created. Oh, it's, it's always fun, but the reason why it's my favorite time is watching my husband's it, reaction uh, to the animals. Well, let me we've, say, had, uh, we've had some cougars, you oh, know, a pretty big lion. Goodness. And we had a, a wolf. Yes, you loved that one, oh, didn't you? But anyway, oh, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun he with said, that. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth up the bone. God wants people to have something happen inside of them because they're Christian. They know the Creator. They understand that He can make people people, of course, and but also you can have animals. And I promise you, my wife is telling you something about the animal because they make me nervous sometimes. But I understand that God loves them so much and they got personalities that sometimes, Coral, I just don't understand. <laughs> That's right. But it's fun to be able to experience these creatures. That's right. And every year we put them through torment, it's making torment. him experience. But today was a little bit of a torment for me too. But also we've got a great preach message that yeah. I believe is one of the greatest messages I've heard in a long time. Well, people need to understand authority in their lives. Well, and you know, the minute you say that, people go, uh. even I, when I asked him, you know, that Sunday, what are you preaching on? And he said, how we need authority. And I went, oh, great. You know, but it is. Well, she, th she was thinking, folks, she was thinking I was going to use that authority on her. That's right. But I, I don't use that authority on you. Not much. But anyway, oh. it is really, it is Not going much. to really, really give you faith for your future for today. And I believe that you may have gotten some really bad news yesterday or even early this morning, perhaps true, your folks. husband or wife said, that's it, I've had it, I'm leaving, or maybe you... And we hear about that a lot. A lot. We hear about that a lot, happened to a lot of family. And, you know, because Satan is trying to kill, steal, and destroy in every area of life, but Jesus has come to give us life and life more abundantly. Now, we, we believe in prayer. We believe that prayer changes circumstances, changes things, and we've got some great people ready to pray the prayer of faith. I mean, I'm talking powerful faith. Prayer for you, that you would begin to see mountains removed, obstacles thrown away, and you would begin to see God moving in your behalf. Maybe you've been given a bad report from a doctor about your health. Maybe they said the word terminal or cancer. Well, Jesus is greater than any any doctor's report, Jesus is our healer, and he wants to help you in your body. He wants to help you in your spirit, your soul, in every area of your life right, and in God. relationships. Please call right now and get powerful prayer. And then when you call in and get prayer, we want to send you free of charge. Where do I go from here? Now, this is a powerful book that my husband, or booklet, that my husband put together about what we need to do after we accept Jesus in our, in our heart as our Lord and Savior. Now what? And this is the Word of God. It's going to be great. It's going to strengthen you. It talks about faith, living with God, and living for God. And it's going to be great. And then tell them about this on the back. Well, it talks about are you 100% sure? It helps you lead somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, are you 100% sure if you died right now that you would go to heaven? That's the question you ask. 
someone that you want to, to bring to Jesus Christ. And then it goes on, if you were standing before Jesus and said, why, and Jesus said to you, why should I let you into my kingdom? What would you say? And then you got all this down about the word of God and how to come to a decision to help that person come to Lord, know the Lord Jesus Christ. We've seen this help, help a lot of people around the world, here in Dallas, around the country, how people's lives were changed when they got, where do I go from here? And also, are you 100% sure? We'd like to send it out to you because we know that it will be a blessing to you. Believe me, call right now and get it. Amen? That's right. And you know, the Word is something we can build our life on so that our life can be solid, rock solid, and you're not going to be tossed to and fro by every wind and wave That's of doctrine cool. and every circumstance. But we've seen um, one teenage girl use this, are you 100% sure, to witness to over 75 and kids and they all, all accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So we want you to have this. I mean, it's free of charge. Please call right now, get prayer. We want to send that to you. But right now, John. John Roloff, we're going to take you into that little experience. It's going to I be great. I promise you, it will be a blessing to you. Stay tuned. We've got more family and friends Amen. coming your way. All right. <laughs> Here we are with creatures great and small. I'm looking at this parrot. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be a great day, isn't it? That's right. you got to stay tuned because with us is John Roloff. He is the owner, founder of Creatures <laughs> Great and Small. And he is also known as, I'm going to embarrass him, the real live Dr. Doolittle, oh, he isn't the horse whisperer, he is the <laughs> lion whisperer, <laughs> the tiger whisperer. But with us, again, with family and friends, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yay! It's always a lot of fun. <laughs> that, that we love to torment oh, Dr. Do. Kennedy like with to. the animals. Yes, yes we do. We, okay. we, we've got some surprises All tonight right, for well, go ahead so and, and, just, uh, and just surprise away. That's right. Well, good. Well, we'll bring out a few right now that we'll have. Of course, this is our. This is one of our favorites right here. And uh, so far, Pastor oh. has liked this one, right? As long as like I a, sat near as the bird. As you bird. sat near, right. right. Okay. Well, so well, this bird. one right here is, this is Kona, and she is a uh, Catalina macaw. And uh, she's only eight months old. Wow. So she's and still a baby right now. A long time. They'll live to 80 to 100 years old or more. That's incredible. Yes, and Hello. they're from the rainforest area. She's actually a cross between a uh, blue and gold oh, and also a, um, uh, a scarlet macaw. So they're very, very intelligent, beautiful birds through but there. But if you and get one of these birds or any type yes. of like parrot like this, you have to make sure you're making a, a like a lifetime commitment, exactly. right? Exactly. Right. Because they're, they're, they're something to take care of. They're intelligent. They like to be around uh, people. They love people. Um, and they're, j they're really a, a great uh, companion. Right. But just to leave them alone is another thing. So you right. wouldn't want to do that. And uh, this bird does talk. Oh, yes. Yes. She's just <laughs> learning. She's got about a 15-word uh, vocabulary right now. Well, maybe and, as she's... Uh, sets up there, sure. she might add she to She might this. add to the whole program right. on this end of it. Hello. We can get her up there. Hello. You want to get up there? You want to get uh, on Coral's hand? Yeah, yeah. You want to get up? Up? No? Okay. No. Well, you're just going up there. <laughs> but, tonight, but, Pastor, we brought something that we oh, knew no, that you no, really no, love. No, no, and I need no, to, because no, since no, I have no, the bird, no, you have to hold on to that. No, just just go ahead and hold up. Put your hand out straight. Oh, okay, to be very, very careful. Oh, I got right. We have the anti-venom. Yes. Uh -huh. Just don't now that, throw it That his name is Solomon, okay? That's Solomon there. Yes. But he's a sweet, he's got a funny looking tongue. Look at his tongue, right. That is called a blue tongue skink. Is it nice? Is it? Well, it can be, yes. <laughs> as long as you don't move, use, use both hands they pick to support up on, They pick up on nerves, right, nerves, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, you that's just hold it. And we have something for Coral. I can't Let's believe see. him. We'll bring. Uh, um, well, he's just looking at you. That's okay. Let's see. Let's see. We'll, just we'll bring, looking we'll bring, at Now, I always like John Moloff because he brought like little uh, cuddly things, cuddly things tiger but, cubs, but and, and now, things like I'm that. I'm going to tell you something. He's got a funny You've seen Survivor, folks. You've seen Survivor. Well, now. <laughs> what, honey, don't drop. This is gross. <laughs> I love you, John. Yeah, Go away. This, this, Go. Is, this, is a, this is a giant African millipede. These yeah. are the largest <laughs> of the millipede family. And uh, they're all Let's on the rainforest the floor by the millions, and they really help the rainforest grow. Now, this right. thing won't bite oh. him. Will it? What's you guys, that? it's this got thing little things. Yeah, they might. I they don't know. You might have to keep a little bit of separate. It's got little things. Yes. Do they, does this eat this? Well, it could. Okay. I mean, they're, they're probably not. <laughs> we'll keep it we'll And keep then it the bird separate. might get no, either no, one. Right, right, right. Do you like that? Do you like that? 
I want to. Wait, I've this. got this one over here. Okay, okay. Like no, I, no, I want you to hold him, honey. He's a not. He's got the funniest tongue in the world. Okay. 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 Now next. Yes. We love you, John. Next. Oh. So we have we have other things that we'll okay. bring out through there. Let's see. Uh, now this that, lives in where? Did you this tell is us? actually Australia and Tasmania. They're the largest of the skink family, and uh, it's called a blue tongue skink, obviously because here, of the blue tongue. Let's see if we can get it out. There oh, it is, yeah, right there. Tongue. Just tell him to stick his tongue out uh, faster, oh, and he'll do that for you. Yeah. So I kind of like the bottle feeding the chim. You like that a little bit better, yeah, didn't you? Like right? bite. Well, yeah. it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like five times. I don't know whether or not to Honey, answer that. Honey, we have anti-venom. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll do, Where's yeah. your face? Yeah. No, okay. no, stop we'll do, no, it's okay. Here we go. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one here. Okay, you sure you don't want to hold no, on to that no, any longer? Okay. We'll bring out something else. Now, we also, John has, John has a website that you can contact him. He goes to um, schools and different groups, and if you would like to contact him, he has creaturesgreat.org, and... Believe you me, he's got a lot of creatures, and he's, you can contact them and his, invite them in. He was telling me to go to his house would really be something. <laughs> to go That's into right. his house would be something yeah. else. So do we have, uh, what is our next well, guest? Right, this right here real quick, we'll bring, we'll bring this oh, one no, in. Oh, no, no, you this keep is, that. This is Allegria. We'll let you have now, that one. Allie, no, no, no. Allie, is, Allie is a rainforest raccoon. Oh, okay, call it Quatamundi oh, or Quatamundi. I've got it. See there? All right. Oh. Now, now this, is, this one is very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the nose obviously the nose you can kind see the nose like, like an anteater that. kind of like that right that thing's trying and, to bite him yeah they're, 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 they're probably uh, well very interesting but um Allie is like i said she is she is a, a she's lot a wild of oh thing, she's yeah. she's a, she's a really yeah she likes coral yeah. and uh, <laughs> pastor i think she really no, likes no, you she she like 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 i'm going to run they're from the rainforest area they're the rainforest raccoons and they are very very lively obviously Oh, no. With claws. Oh, it's and they after. Love to, yeah, she loves to get, catch anything. Yeah. She'll, she'll go after it. Oh, there we go. We'll just let oh, her go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no, there's nothing in the world right there. Thing fell out. No, it's all right. That one's fine. Oh, <laughs> There's never, you ever what watched you, see, Johnny we Carson through there, right? Family and friends right now. There's something on the floor. Now, right? oh, this is now John, this I've got to ask you one yes, thing. Right, right. Why do you do this with all the animals? Well, you know, God has made every creature here. Right. And this creature. Uh-oh, he's getting it. No, he's got the microphone. That's okay. He's eating the microphone. We'll give him over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Have fun with him, okay. man. Well, oh, yeah. Here, let's, let's find okay. the mic. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, no, it's on there somewhere. We okay. Got it. still on there? Okay. Yes. I hope so. See, it's never ending on this. That's We're right. Great time. But uh, what we do is we travel all across the United States. We're endorsed by Boyd Matson with National Geographic. Uh, we teach about our environment, the rainforest, right. what's going on with our, our world, and all these wonderful creatures that God has, has blessed us with. That's and so from the smallest to the largest, obviously, and, and, and in between, they're here on this earth for a purpose. Right. And, he's, uh, and so we teach about that. We, we explain to the kids and to the families and, and people about these wonderful creatures that they're here for us. And to learn by, we can learn by them. And, uh, and, and a lot of times what happens is what we don't understand, we right. destroy. Right. So we try to under, make people learn and let them understand what's going on with our environment and our world and the wonderful creatures that God's blessed us with. Here. That's right. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, thank John, you. for being with us. <laughs> Well, it's always good to have John with us because it's always quite a blessing. That's right. <laughs> we love you. Stay tuned. We've got some more great things coming up on Family and Friends. Thank you so much. Wow. Now, you saw that I was completely over... Well, let me tell you something. That was a, a marvelous experience with those animals. And, John, I tell you, it's wonderful to experience what God has created. I want you to call right now our prayer partners right now. They want to pray for you, and I'd like to send you.